A pair of Hawks who have shared a great deal together on their journey. They are triple premiership teammates and on the weekend they will share game 250 as the milestone against Collingwood on Sunday. Gee, they join some good company. There's only 15 players in Hawthorne history who have reached this milestone. Luke Bruce and Liam Shields are about to take their places, 16 and 17. Liam, great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Luke, nice to see you. Read out those names. Nice. This list, Michael Tuck, Lee Matthews, Sam Mitchell, Luke Hodge, Shane Crawford, Chris Langford, Don Scott, Kelvin Moore, Jared Ruffhead, Gary Ayres, Jason Dunstall, Jordan Lewis, Peter Knights, John Platten, Sean Burgoyne, and on Sunday, Liam Shields and Luke Bruce. That is good company to be keeping. <laughs> that's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, that, it's probably when you really pinch yourself when you start hearing names like that. Um, as you said, probably some of the best uh, that Hawthorne has produced. So um, to join that list, it's, yeah, pretty amazing. Mm. What's your motivation? And I ask you that we, we saw you both with the, the Premiership era and... Then the changeover of, over of players, you've got the changeover of coach. I know you've spoken about it at different times this year. At round 11, how's the enjoyment, how's the motivation playing, uh, playing with the Hawks? Oh, for me, it's just every weekend I get to run out with 22 of your best mates um, and going to battle. Um, so, yeah, you're going through a bit of a tough time now. You're possibly not going to make finals and things like that, but the ability to still challenge yourself and, and get the best out of yourself still drives me um, to this day. It was what it was driving me from the, the first day I got to the footy club and it still drives me now that I'm yeah, trying to be the best that I can. For you, Liam? Yeah, very similar. Um, the motivation is still very high. I think for me it's just going to be involved in the next premiership. Might not be as a player, um, but any way possible, whether it's helping develop these young guys coming through and we've got a number of great young kids at the minute. so. Um, yeah, it might not be in the next few years for us to be playing in a premiership, or it might be, you never know, but um, we've all got a role to play um, in helping develop these young kids as quick as possible so Hawthorne can play another flag. What's he like when he got dropped early, earlier this year and fought himself? He can, he can talk about it, but I'd rather actually you talking about his character as a, as a person and as a player. Yeah, he uh, could have been the grumpy Irishman, um, <laughs> but the way he's uh, carried himself has been just first class. He's, Leadership and ability to have an impact down at Box Hill has been phenomenal when he's gone back there. And then he still comes back into the senior side and can play a significant role for us. So, uh, so that Brisbane game, when Mitchell put him on <coughs> like Neil at half time, yeah, and he had like 40,000 touches in the first <laughs> yeah. half, and you kept him to 10,000. No, you, you really clamped him. After a game, what do you, what do you like with the aim? Great, great. Well, that's, have your back. He nearly wins a game for us on the back yeah. of that, that you stifle something that was killing us in the first half to then have Liam to go and do the job. Uh, and that's what he's done his whole career. He's been, um, you couldn't, he, he was so reliable in everything that he did. No matter what role, was half forward, wing, half back, tagging if he had yeah, to. Inside, yeah. Inside it, like whatever it was, he, he could do nearly all of it. Um, so that was why he was nearly one of the first picked all the time because he was so reliable and just did his role. So every time he kicked one of those, you know, classy goals, did he thank you for doing all the, <laughs> all the hard work and yeah, we're, in the middle? Yeah, we're very different players. Um, Luke's quite remarkable and I'm probably the more reliable one. <laughs> <laughs> not, not as exciting to watch, but, um, yeah, some of, the, some of the goals he kicks are, are pretty special. Um, he does that stuff at training yeah. as well. So when he kicks it on game day, it's no, no surprise. But I think the thing I love most about him is he steps up in big moments and we've seen that a number of different times. This year he's very clutch under pressure and mm. um, when the moment's there he'll step up and kick the goal. What are your memories like for mid-2009 when your senior footy journey starts? Yeah, um, I remember Punky coming in, um, he had his afro hair, it was a bit longer <laughs> back then, he used to wear a helmet as a junior. Um, but yeah, skinny kid uh, from country to Mora, country New South Wales, came in. I remember he had a, an awesome sidestep because he had a, a rugby background and uh, we used to do a few tackling drills and, and no one can touch him. But um, yeah, he works super hard to, you know, put on a bit of size and muscle and, um, yeah, turn into a real... That's your player. first goal yeah. off the ground in miserable conditions in Launceston and soccer, Sam Mitchell to celebrate. So soccer background as well for, for Liam, so... And you would, you would have still been at school then as well. Yeah, so I got drafted. Um, it was the last draft you could take, I think, 17-year-olds. So Hawthorne uh, took three of us at the time and um, I still had a, a year of school to finish, so um, I'd done all the schooling up to there. I said, oh, I might as well finish off the last year and... 
Um, yeah, it was the best year of my life because whenever I wanted to get out of footy, I said, oh, I've got a little bit of schoolwork I need to get done. <laughs> and whenever I wanted to get out of school, I said, oh, the footy club really needs you this weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, it worked out well. And what are your memories coming to footy in mid-2011? Oh, yeah, lengthy apprenticeship and looking back, it was probably the best thing for me. But, um, yeah, pretty daunting uh, going into a, a side that was starting to really build again and, and challenge for, for premierships. So... Um, yeah, very nervous on, on this Turn team. your back early on his teammates. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even look to pass it off. I was a St Kilda supporter as well growing up, so I think that even heightened the nerves. Uh, I still remember the phone call from Clarko. I was walking up the stairs to go to my room on a Thursday night, and uh, you always knew on a Thursday night if you got a, a call from Clarko, whether it was good or bad news. Um, but, yeah, thank, thankfully for me that night, it was, it was good news. I'll ask you some Dorothy Dixes. Who's the best hawk you played with? I think Cyril, just from just from purely what he could do on the field, um, he was a match winner. He had the X factor. He was phenomenal. You? I've been lucky to play with a lot of good ones, but uh, Luke Hodge for me, just the overall package, um, superstar player and super. Blue star collar, player. blue collar. Yeah, like self. <laughs> self. <laughs> I got to sit next to Cyril, so got, got to learn a little bit off him as well, which was nice. If you were to still to distill your journey into a couple of sentences, what what would you make of it to to reach the 250 games and to experience the giddy highs that you have? Oh, so lucky, so lucky. Yeah, um, you know. A lot of hard work's gone into it, but um, yeah, rocked up as a uh, you know, 17 year old, uh, grew up 10 minutes down the road, um, been able to play 250 games, get to play it with one of my best mates, and also taste the success of three premierships. So um, you kind of have to pinch yourself at times. Is it even better than you would have imagined it could be? Oh, for sure, yeah. I probably didn't think I was going to play one AFL game. Uh, being on the rookie list, three one year contracts, uh, there were times where I thought it was just too hard. I wanted to go home. Um, but, yeah, it was all worth it in the end. So probably, yeah, a bit of patience. Um, very grateful to go to a club like Hawthorne um, and, and yeah, have the journey that we've had together. Well, we salute you both. Thanks for coming in tonight. And Thank it's you. an occasion for the club always, the Beyond Blue Cup. So for the 17th consecutive year, that'll be contested, and this time against Collingwood. So it's a great opponent and a big stage to do it on. Yeah, for sure. And I think this year um, the main, uh, the, the main uh, reason behind it is, is play your role. So if um, anyone's out there struggling, then, yeah, play your role. Reach out um, and do your bit for mental health because we don't want to see anyone going through um, any of those issues. Luke, Liam, Good enjoy stuff. Sunday. Great to see you both. Thanks, Thanks for coming in, guys. Luke Bruce and Liam Shields.